participation of resource potentials and also making the GIS-based integrated data evaluating systems. Next, please. Okay, now we are developing uh, the mining systems and also we are doing the environmental studies to evaluate the environmental impact assessment uh, in our areas. Next, please. Uh, these are the equipment uh, for the field survey and probably you are familiar with this equipment because previous uh, speakers mentioned this equipment. Next, please. And it's the developing pilot scale uh, mining equipment. Uh, we are developing the 1 to 20 uh, scale pilot uh, model miners and also we are developing the lifting systems. Next, please. Okay, one more click. Uh, it's a multiplex cinemas. Well, on the right, you can see the lifting systems to test the shallow, uh, in the shallow sea conditions. Uh, you can see the cross, uh, cross the polymetallic nodal particles uh, going up through the lifting systems. And here is the uh, scale pilot model miners uh, working on the soft bottoms that we make artificially. Next slide, please. Uh, it's the uh, refining process that we uh, that the Kigam developed uh, newly. Next, please. And also through these programs, uh, we are developing the uh, ROBs uh, for the use of to develop the marine minerals. Next, please. They can dive down to 6,000 uh, meters. Okay, now is the uh, current stages of manganese nodal development. Well, I think I've already explained this. Okay, I will move to the next slide. Okay, further exploration for cobalt rich crust. Uh, here is the areas that we have done the field surveys. Next, please. And it's the study areas. And next, please. We surveyed uh, 14 seamounts out of 63 in these regions. And the each symbol uh, means the size of the seamount. Next, please. Well, to evaluate the resources in the seamount, uh, we are doing the bathymetry works and also using the deep camera systems, uh, we figure out the vertical distribution pattern of the crust and also slope analysis. And we are also doing the uh, horizontal uh, distribution pattern analysis uh, using the dredge samples. Next, please. Okay, as I told you, the crust program now uh, is suspended and will resume in 2010. Next, please. Now I move to the seafloor uh, massive sulfide. Well, probably you have interest in the SMS uh, business, so I will spend some time to explain. Uh, there are two steps. We conducted uh, preliminary surveys as a core this R&D project from 1998 to 2000 for three years. Field survey was done in Yap Trench of Micronesia, Manus Basin of Papua New Guinea, and Udulak Basin of Solomon Islands from 2002 to present. Uh, as a Korean government's R&D project, we are conducting exploration activities in North Fiji Basin of Fiji, and Lao Basin of Tonga. Next, please. It's the map of the study areas. Next, please. 
Well, since 2002, a field survey for sea floor mass ship sulfide has been conducted in the EG of Fiji and Tonga. Recently, uh, Kurdi acquired the mineral prospecting license for the sea floor mass ship sulfide in the area of about uh, 19,000 square kilometers for Tonga government in March this year. The red, the red is for Kurdi, uh, and the uh, green for not green for Nautilus, and the blue for blue metal uh, companies. Next, please. Well, I'm gonna skip this. Skip again. Okay. Uh, it's the vision of uh, Korean deep sea bed mineral development programs uh, in general. We'll do our best to get the fruits from the deep sea bed for stable supply of the mineral resources. In order to do that, we'll establish foundation for commercial mining and introduce new marine industry and spinning of new technology. But we are always keep in mind that the development of deep sea mineral resources should be in a sustainable mode. We'll consider environment first. Next. Okay, I will skip this. Okay, now is uh, concluding remark and some suggestions. Oh, not yet. No, no, no. Backward. Okay, one more. Uh, the exploitation of deep sea mineral resources is still risky in the viewpoint of economy and technology. This problem uh, is partly due to the economical and technological uncertainties associated with our lack of knowledge. However, we expect that the such difficulties will be overcome as technology and experience accumulated from lots of researches and field surveys by research institute, university, uh, and companies in the world. Unfortunately, such efforts of developing deep sea mineral resources have been conducted separately by different countries and research institute, which inevitably resulted in overwrapped investment to the same research area in a global viewpoint. Next, please. Lack of uh, cooperative efforts, uh, as previous speakers has already mentioned, and sharing of accumulated knowledge, experience, and technology might be one of the reasons for the slow progress of polymetallic manganese nodal development. It is well known that various cutting edge technology from various disciplines are required for the commercial production of deep sea mineral resources. Considering each country's uh, interest and comparative superiority in different areas of technology, international collaboration between countries of common interest could bring technological achievement more efficiently with less cost. Regarding this, the ISCA's role as an organizer of these collaborations might be important. As ISCA asked, we have a plan to prepare joint symposium among contractors, especially uh, three most active contractors for manganese nodal development, such as Korea, China, and India. Since Kordi uh, started his first deep sea survey in the 1980s, it took almost one generation time to establish, establish specific systems to develop deep sea minerals. Kordi will make his every effort to harvest visible outcomes from a Korean deep sea bed research program in the nearest future. Okay, I have a couple of, uh, more slides to show the equipment. Uh, I'd better quit uh, at this moment. And uh, as I told you at the beginning, uh, the season is 
totally reverse. In my country, it's winter time, but it's summer. So I feel very hot and uh, while sweating. Okay, uh, I'd better stop uh, now. Thank you for your attentions. Obrigado.